सर कई बार देखने में आता है कि कोई भी इंसान मुसीबत में होता है और दूसरा इंसान उसकी मदद के लिए पहुंच जाता है बिल्कुल सही ये तो आपने देखा ही होगा लेकिन आज जो वीडियो हम देखने जा रहे हैं वहाँ पर आप देखेंगे की बेचारे कुछ जानवर है मुसीबत में फंस गए और उनको इंसान बचाने जा रहा है तो उसके बाद तब आपकी बातों से तो ऐसा हम लग रहा है कि कोई भावुक वीडियो दिख रही है और इसमें वाकई में इंसानियत का वो दर्शाया जी जा रहा है वाकई अभी भी कुछ इंसानियत की बाकी है सब बहुत बहुत देखने में बहुत अच्छा लग रहा है सर आज के जमाने में लोगों में क्या इंसानियत बहुत कम बची है तो इसी बात पर आप लगाइए सर दिस पर्सन फाउंड अ किट अ ब्लाइंड किट एट दैट Trapped in a whole bundle of wires. This kitten was not in great condition at all. This person knew how they had to step in, and thank goodness they did because they just changed the life of this kitten. More than changed this kitten's life, made this kitten's life. Who knows what would have happened had this person not come along? But they did, and this kitten is free from an awful tangled mess. He's now getting some pretty fantastic treatment. Is there some sort of humanitarian award we can give out for this effort? This next one's wild, and you wouldn't believe it if someone just explained it to you. So, this baby elephant is stuck in a ditch, and it's stuck in there pretty good. There's no easy way for an elephant to get out of it. Let alone a baby elephant. Luckily, people were able to help rescue it. It takes a little while, a good deal of digging, but after a while, they've done enough, and the baby elephant is able to get out of that ditch. And as the baby feels that freedom once again, his family comes running up to join him. They're so thankful that they're able to save their kids. They're so thankful that they're able to save their kids. They're so thankful that they're able to save their kids. They're so thankful that they're able to save their kids. They're so thankful that they're able to save their kids. They're so thankful that they're able to save their kids. They're so thankful that they're able to save their kids. They're so thankful that they're able to save their kids. They're so thankful that they're able to save their kids. They're so thankful that they're able to save their kids. They're so thankful that they're able to save their kids. They're so thankful that they're able to save their kids. They're so thankful that they're able to save their kids. They're so thankful that they're able to save their kids. They're so thankful that they're able to save their kids. They're so thankful that they're able to save their kids. They're so thankful that they're able to save their kids. They're so thankful that they're able to save their kids. They're so thankful that they're able to save their kids. They're so thankful that they're able to save their kids. They're so thankful that they're able to save their kids. They're so thankful Digging her hoof into the ground, kicking up dirt. Then they realized that she looked to him, that she was trying to ask him for help. And then he found out that her calf had slid underneath this electric fence. The little baby cow had been delivered over here, but then slid out of the reach of the cow. It was lying in the hot sun and needed help. So Dave stepped in. He used this stick to hold that electric fence up so that he could help get that calf back to its mom. No, he got a few shocks in the process. Janwar ke usme to insaan bhi wala. Because he returned the baby to her mama. Now this guy's a hero. Bahut acha kam karo. This chimp had gotten away from somewhere and now was running across telephone wires and jumping onto telephone poles and doing the whole nine yards. Goli mari hai usko taake mein ho chhod raha hai. A lot of people following him, ready to hunt him down. Rescue crews ended up following him, ready to catch him if need be. The chimp, not realizing oh. the nature of the wires he was climbing on, did get shocked a few times. He eventually fell from the wires, but as mentioned, people were waiting to catch him, rescue him, and restore him back to full health. This chimp had a full team. Yeah, but yeah, yeah, but yeah. What's up, Kamal? Oh my God, you're so cute, Sushi. This is the story of Sushi. Although his name wasn't Sushi at the beginning of his journey, this little sea otter pup was found. Orphaned in the ocean, as occasionally happens, from several different reasons, whether it be a storm or something else. Just a little pup, he wouldn't be able to fend for himself. So the humans came to the rescue. They rescued him, named him, as per the agreement, and cared for him. Now this little sea otter couldn't possibly be released into the wild, so he was given a new home, the Monterey Bay Aquarium. Nice day, Sushi. तो उसको मछली खा जाती है। Now he gets to swim around, have a choice at dinner, and generally just float around looking for something. थोड़ा सही हुआ वो। Every sea otter's dream. उसके ज़िंदगी वाले दिन भी है उन्होंने। हाँ। Oh, get ready for this one. It's gonna tug at the heartstrings. This little puppy was found in really bad shape. He had mange. He had a severe injury in his leg. As you can see, his people came out. He just wanted to hide from the world. He was eventually coaxed out with some food, likely being really hungry. 
And then this team got to him. They treated him for his pain, helped with his injuries, everything he needed. A lot of work needed to be done to restore this pub back to full strength. But they put in the time, and it all paid off. Because weeks later, the puppy was named Jumper. And you can absolutely I see know, I, I know, yeah. at this transformation. <laughs> Both yeah, physically yeah. and emotionally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jumper's so happy and excited, and it's all thanks to this team. That's the team of real life superheroes. Can they please get some recognition? And can we please continue to marvel at how happy Jumper is? It's early morning and there's a stir around the center. Goff has returned from a call out with an animal in an unbelievable predicament. Something about animals and cars. It's just a bad situation waiting to happen. Has his head stuck in a wheel? Yeah, the fox's head isn't really that big, but the hole he got his head stuck in is even smaller. This is one of those "how did you even do this" type of moments. No matter, let's not worry about that. Let's worry about the other how. How do we get you? This team took a little while. They took all the proper precautions. But they eventually formulated a plan, and they managed to free the fox out from this wheel. Thank goodness. The fox is being treated and never covered in blood. This wheel is being sent somewhere where it can learn to stop being so tense. Wow, what a thing! Very good. Okay. Yeah. 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 Maybe they need to put up some guardrails near this river, or put these people on the payroll because what they're doing is an incredible job and a tough job. This guy's trying to get the sheep out of the river, and you never know how heavy a wet sheep in the river is until you're trying to lift them. It takes several attempts. Try safety, and he is the only one in this river. We have others because another sheep was stuck in the river. This time, the rescue was performed by some kayakers. We're glad this river is being patrolled by sheep guardian angels. We can rest easy at night knowing that these heroes are out there, paddles and all. What is this guy doing? Pulling up bricks? What happened? He accidentally buried his keys at the job site? No, something more valuable than these bricks. A pregnant dog. Yeah, somehow a pregnant dog was buried alive underneath all of this. And these local residents of Russia, they probably also don't know how this happened. They know that they have to get this dog out. And this guy works quickly as there isn't a second to spare. She gets out safely, thanks to these heroes. Oh, oh so yeah, 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 yeah. And there's an animal in need. <laughs> yeah, the problem is this animal is in need, but is way taller than everyone else. <laughs> it's a giraffe, and he's got a tire <laughs> stuck <laughs> on his neck. <laughs> since that tire's all the way down on the base of his neck, that's several <laughs> feet of giraffe <laughs> neck that the tire would have to clear. It's no easy task, but these people are up to the challenge. The giraffe would be willing to just let people come up to him and pull a tire off his neck. So we must be thankful for modern medicine in this situation. Medicine may get the assist, but people score the points as they do the actual work of freeing this giraffe up. Now he'll be comfortable. And it won't be the butt of all giraffe jokes on the open plains. This giant green turtle had the misfortune of getting wedged right into between these two rocks on a beach in Oman. But it all kind of evened out. Once so it had the good fortune that a kind British couple happened to be strolling by. What made the situation even better? A woman happened to be a marine biologist. This couple got right to work, trying to free the turtle. 
but he was really stuck. They tried for about half an hour. So he was free. But Miss Marine Biologist used some quick thinking, got a piece of driftwood, and helped to pry the turtle free as her boyfriend lifted and lifted. And lift it. Oh, and finally, oh, yeah. the oh, yeah. oh, yeah. now the turtle's going somewhere, oh, yeah. somewhere far away from big rocks. Oh, very good. What oh, that chair? Oh, he's good, I think. <laughs> this family was in their home when they were visited by a raven. A raven who sat on their fence and began squawking. And squawking for an entire yeah. hour. Yeah. They finally decided they needed to mm. investigate and see what's up. Turned out, the raven seemed to be asking for their help. For anyone's oh, help. God, he had some quills stuck in the side of his face and neck region. And with the raven's wings and lack of fingers, he was unable to oh, pull them out himself. So he sought out some of those tall human animal things with fingers. This family was more than yeah. 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 And it couldn't have felt good getting those quills pulled out. But once they were out, oh boy did that raven <laughs> feel much better. <laughs> These two guys are running around like mad on this beach filled with seals. What is going on? Oh, I see, they're helping the seals. You see, seals are quite prone to getting entangled in fishing wire and other garbage that gets thrown into the ocean. And when it gets stuck on them, they can't get it off themselves. They needed the help of these two beach heroes. Watch these guys run around grabbing seals and cutting them free. Whether it be the fishing line or pieces that have oh, seemed to come off of a reflective oh, jacket, they're oh, taking it all off. Okay, no and as if to say thank you, after they free one baby seal, the baby seal kind of just stops, doesn't run off, just waits, and looks back at the guys. The seal recognizes the hero just like me. They can't have killed me. Tell me, what is this has got to be the most embarrassing oh, oh, oh. moment of my life. Um, could you guys please free me and never tell anyone about this? Oh, man, why are you filming? You're not going to put this on kangaroo rat yeah. tube, are you? Not wow. Wow. Uh, yeah. No, luckily it just went on human yeah, YouTube and this little guy was yeah, yeah, yeah. later released. Away from any oh, sockets. Yeah. This is a curious Malu scene. Malu. I watched a good deal of the show Cops, but I've never seen this episode. What do we have? Two perps? Messing with the trash bin? Are these bears trying to get into the trash bin? Wait, they trying to get something out of the trash bin? Or perhaps someone? Yeah, a bear cub was trapped in the trash bin. And the bear family was trying to rescue him. Since they were unable, these deputies stepped in. They acted somewhat quickly, mainly carefully. Got the trash bin open, and they gave the cub an escape route via a ladder oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. and waited. The cub was later quoted as saying, I'm sticking a trash can to public parks from now on. It's extraordinary what can happen out there in the world sometimes. And don't forget these things don't only happen on land, they can happen in water as well. A diver was in Hawaii and was out in the water swimming with the man rays, having himself a great time, not planning on anything else to happen to him in the water. But as he went underwater, a dolphin swam right up to him, and it was trying really hard to get his attention, and the diver realized it had come to him for help. This dolphin had a fishing line stuck in his mouth and also in his flipper. How amazing. <laughs>
इनके जज्बे को भी सलाम है मुझे पूरी वीडियो में से वो कछुए वाली सबसे अच्छी लगी थी और एक वो भेड़ वाली जो उसने भेड़ो को निकाला था और दो लोगों ने कछुए को निकाला हिम्मत नहीं आ रही मगर कछुए को बाहर निकाला और वो सही साठ था ये देख के बहुत अच्छा लगा खबरदार 